Fusion IO Turban is this week's Idiot of the Week. Since I'm spending more time in the cloud, I'm finding more idiots than maybe I can possibly identify in a given week. But Fusion IO released a almost blog post by Victoria Kopnik, who is vastly inexperienced in virtualization based on the blog post she wrote. Very early on in her post, she says, virtualization has completely changed the way compute resources are deployed, utilized, and managed. Unfortunately, Fusion IO hasn't changed what they do in their virtualization services. Fusion IO makes a pretty decent caching application designed to make your hard disk for disk storage or I hate to use hard disk because SSDs and other storage systems are starting to become the norm and so you don't necessarily have hard disks. However, Fusion IO works by talking at the application layer rather than at what's called the river. The river is all of the data that's streaming by on your IO. Now, if you're looking at just the I.O., it's sometimes hard to see the patterns for what should be cached. And you can't do things intelligently, like say, hey, I'm about to go work on a bunch of accounting-related stuff. Maybe you should start prefetching or populating the cache with stuff related to accounting. You're relying on the patterns of information that are going by to determine what you're doing. So you may be populating your cache or doing look-ahead reads for data that you're never going to use because you're ending your process instead of beginning your process. This makes Fusion IO great in large computationally intense situations, running on hardware that has lots of CPUs. The problem with virtualization and Fusion IO is that you are using CPU cycles in order to make a lot of the decisions that are going to be made about what's being cached. Virtualization often relies around F1 and F2 sized instances which are typically 600 megahertz not 3.2 gigahertz quad cores that you get in a traditional server. So you have a lot fewer CPU cycles to spend on optimizing your cache. So even if the cache isn't as optimized because it's happening at the river rather than at the application, you're in a situation where you're robbing the wrong person. The, you know, the thing that has extra of is generally going to be disk I.O., not CPU cycles. There are some instances where that isn't the case, where most of what you're doing is reads and serving files, and you're not going to touch the CPU much. But any time you become CPU bound, Fusion IO's caching at the application layer is a problem and is going to hurt your performance rather than help your performance. Fusion IO also loses out in the security standpoint. Because of the way the application works, instead of doing hardware encryption of your cached applications, you're relying on what the virtual machine's doing. And so you are exposing your data or adding to the computational overhead if you're going to keep what's cached secure. This is, in my view, one of the biggest faults with the Fusion I.O. product is that you're trading performance for security when you can get the same performance, if not better, and the security if you go with one of the solutions like the external SSD or a caching application Oh, sorry, caching appliance or one of the other solutions that Victoria says is inferior in her document. And this really comes from a lack of understanding about how virtualization works, the needs of virtualization, and how real deployments are being done. It's a great paper in theory if we all ran really big servers that weren't virtualized the way that they were or if you weren't working in the cloud, maybe, or if you wrote every line of code that you were going to run as opposed to running some off-the-shelf software that you want to make perform well. So, 
Fusion IO is a great product in a limited set of circumstances where you can control the code, you control the size of the instance, and you are aware that you are not CPU bound. In all other instances, Fusion IO is a bad choice, and Victoria was either ignorant in how it is that virtualization actually works, or just downright dishonest by saying that Fusion IO is superior in all instances to other platforms.